So my volume has been kind of messed up some of the times I've been trying to push through on these videos. But I definitely uh, should have been on much earlier, you know, real pumped up, very focused. I was just thinking about it before I got here because I wanted to go to a spot where it wouldn't be a whole lot of noise, but I could, you know, be in touch with nature and, and you know, just the elements. So um, this video is really based on, uh, it's dedicated to uh, my brother-in-law and my sister, uh, Letitia and Calvin. Let's see. And uh, thanking them for them, like, showing me things that I otherwise would not have gotten as fast as I'm getting. So the way that I look at it, like this here, right? So, look, I know how my brother-in-law get down, but he like me to call him my brother. So I'm going to call him my brother right now, right? Like through blood, right? But it's like spiritual blood, like it's on another level, right? And so, like, my whole thing is that while I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and enhance this situation. You know, like, I mean, like, the way that it's being brought to me, like, I got to put it on blast, right? Like, I got to really put it out there so there don't be no misunderstanding because there ain't no misunderstanding on my side. They say eagles fly three, four miles above the earth. You very rarely see them together. But that's the reason why you very rarely see an eagle with a duck. So sometimes you'll see them together, but they're majestic all by themselves. So what happened with my situation was, like, I, to me personally, I was born into, like, a God family. But see, the problem about gods, right, is that they can't stand each other, right? So then when you add another God and he's moving at a certain level, he may know it, he may not know it, but this is what I know. I know that. In this world we live in, you either prey or predator. So this particular individual taught me from last really good conversation we had. He gave me a little bit insight on his mind, right? See where he's coming from, right? Taught me a great deal, right? So that's a lot. That would allow me to do the boomerang trick. But that mean is you always reach to your highest level. See, by... Reaching to your highest level, you can see your brother's perspective. No matter what he's seeing, we could look at the same soda pop bottle, but he looking at it from one, from one direction. I'm looking at it from another direction. He's seeing something different. I'm seeing something different based on our paradigm, based on our perception. So we get a misunderstanding of what the demonstration is all about, right? So the way that the Lord hit me is that he gave me the 360. So in a minute, right, I'll be able to prove it, right? Because like the other day, right, I just happened to be driving through and I didn't even really know the spot, right? Like Porsches maintain their value no matter what, right? So I was looking at this joint, right? It was a Porsche Carrera. It's a 2008. You, you really would think they very, very old, right? But I was looking at this Corvette too, right? So I was like, down, I could have got both of them, right? So I'm looking at how I'm going to do it. And it's like how these ideas is coming. And, uh, they had a Range Rover on the joint, too. So I said to myself, like, I really don't really care about what I'm going to be getting physical because I know deep in my heart I'm going to be giving it away, like, left and right, right? That, like, the powers that be, they really want to understand my moves because, look, when God give you what he give you, right, you don't hold nothing. So that's why they don't never want us to realize that we're immortal. See, they don't, they don't really want us to truly... Remember ourselves like remembering a hand to a wrist, a wrist to an elbow, an elbow to a shoulder, a tibula to a fibula, that's in the foot. And I ain't even no medical doctor. I just be remembering it. So my whole demonstration is like, how do I learn everything I'm learning here? And take it to the next level, but take it in a way that they can't, I can't be convicted on nothing. The only thing they're going to do is convict me on love, right? But check this out, right? Here's the difference with my demonstration. What I found out with uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, if you're a true force, you must have a military like just protecting like something from another planet. Yeah. 
Because see, these people really don't understand how we need to lay it down because they've already told us already to keep on marching and singing and getting on your knees. You know what to expect from us. We don't care if you do the paperwork. We don't care if you is a secure party creditor. We don't care if you, whatever you do. We don't care if you Winston Shroud. We don't care if you anybody else. You see, what I found out the hard way is this, right? When you protect land, you must have an army. And then what back your army up is is inside of gold. So how you get the gold? Only one place you get it from, the big G, the big O, the big D. Now, he done already pre-selected who he going to make it happen with, right? And this is what I really like, right? When you're moving at the mind of God, you vacuum everybody's stuff. Like, you know, no matter who they got, he could be a special forces dude or somebody from the Mossad or somebody from Savak, you know, in Iraq, and Iran. You know, it could be from somebody from MI5 or MI6 in, 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 in Britain. You know what I'm saying? It could be somebody from the Republic of the Congo. It don't matter, man. It don't matter. See? So what I found out, my purpose is to teach. But then, what I do with my students, I give them some spiritual nitric oxide. I'm going to give you all a demonstration. One day I was coming through from somewhere, right? So it was like, like we was about six or seven of us, about, you know, everybody had either had a BMW or Benz or the big boy Cadillac, right? So it was raining. So it goes something like this. If you're speeding in a car, you're either a fool or you're the police. If you the police, the people say, let's get behind them. Well, we was coming through. You feel me? It was raining. Like, it was like straight love, right? People was even like bumping their horns before they got they, got they going where they going. You know what I mean? Stopping at the same gas station. Everybody looking at each other, really ain't saying nothing. Everybody taking care of what they got to take care of. It's like we was waiting for each other. Got back on the joint. I mean, like, we coming through, you know, the DMV. We coming through, like, Northern Virginia. You know what I mean? D.C. Coming up through through Baltimore. But it's the way we coming. Check this out. I can't wait. I can't wait. I had something happen to me last night. So I woke up, right? I'm with the thought, right? So check this out. This is how deep it's getting. I'm able to, I'm able to catch my negative thought in the act of creeping. I'm like, get up out of here. I ain't got a place no more. And they, and they know what I mean. It's like them pigs that was, uh, I think it was in the dude. And they say, we know who you are. They said, uh, let us just jump in the swan. But guess what they didn't tell us? They spiritual form, trying to maintain in the material. So they in the water. They in the elements. But check this out, right? Here's what I like when you really become really responsible for your thought, right? You check the error of, you, you check yourself in the act of what they call evil even trying to creep in. Now, what happens is this, right? Because of Mother Nature, it takes time, right? Like, you can't plant a seed in, like, three days. It's, it's up and popping. But check this out. When the farmer prepares his, 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 his garden or his field properly with the proper nutrients and so forth and so on and knows how to rotate his crops and what he plants with the proper irrigation, Mother Nature take over. And that's what brings him his corn or his soybean or his tomatoes or his cucumbers. That's what we are. So at the end of the day, I'm looking at the demonstration like this here, right? It really don't matter who 
don't believe me. You know, I'm going to love my brother-in-law, my sister, no matter what. You know, whether we talk or not, it really ain't no big deal. Because, look, God going to lay it down. He going to put it down. He going to put us together what we want to put to be put together or not. That's why we in each other's circumference. And I already know what kind of time I'm on. If I told y'all what I'm working on, y'all be like, yo, stop it. So I'm not even going to tell you what I'm doing. In fact, that's part of the spiritual law. So today, I made sure I came out here to uh, make this video, right? And uh, I wanted to get back to what I was supposed to talk about today. I'm trying to find an area. It's called See No Evil. Thought into the great creative universal subconsciousness. Mind plus faith can equal only one thing, and that is physical reality. Another way to put it is like manifestation, right? Like I'm looking at the different ways how you can make your thing like be on some exponential tip. You know what I mean? Like like people see you on Friday and then next Friday you don't look the same. They'd be like, yo, that's the same. You no. Know? See, because then you know how to evolve quicker. That's what this whole demonstration is all about. You see what I'm saying? It matters not whether the thought is good or evil if the faith is there. It will manifest, for that is the law. Thought plus faith creates. Believe you will fail and you will. Believe you will succeed and you will. Believe you will be well and you will be. Believe you will be sick and you will be. Believe you are unloved and you are. Believe you are unattractive and you are. Verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, move hither and the mountain shall move. Evil could not be anything other than the result of man's belief. Observe the triad of the Orient. See no evil. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. Whence it follows like the night to day. There then can be no evil. Stuttering mankind, grasping at the edges of truth. Since the ancient civilizations of the Orient has never been thoroughly conceived that his belief could make his life godlike in beauty and abundance and harmony and achievement. Let me say that one more again for y'all. Stuttering mankind, grasping at the edges of truth, since the ancient civilizations of the Orient has never been thoroughly convinced that his belief could make his life godlike in beauty and abundance and harmony and achievement. So what that's basically saying is that man knew something was up from the beginning. So it says mankind's struggle toward truth. We must in this chapter dispel all notions of evil as existing as a separate entity in this life. We must see evil as it really is, simply illusion, simply pain response, a wrong track taken, an experiment toward truth, but always illusion, a wrath-like ephemeral, meaning like smoke-like thing that dissipates like the fog at morning when it is denied. Evil as an existing reality, an entity separate and apart from man, has been taught since the beginning of recorded history. This fallacious assumption, no doubt, owes its origin to the fact that mankind has never been able to account for the occurrence of evil, which seems to follow no moral pattern, which falls on the just and the unjust, the strong and the weak, the wise and the ignorant, the rich and the poor. Observing that a newborn child made his entrance into the world with a withered hand or an addled brain or a stunted leg, men mystically assume that God must be punishing this child for the sins of his father. The sins of the father shall be visited on the son. How close to the truth is this intuitive grasp of law? It is not, however, the moral transgressions of the father that are visited upon the son. It is his errors of thinking. It is not, however, the moral transgressions of the father that are visited upon the son. It is his errors of thinking. That means the father. The father that impregnates the mother. His error of thinking. Because he just didn't know. He did the best he could with what he had. I remember my mother used to I remember my mother used to speak to me about my dad, right? He used to cause me like certain issues or whatnot. And I remember one time I don't I don't know. 
where I heard the story from, but I know it was factual. So I was born in 1959. My father was born, I believe, in 1942. So this was during World War II. So he married my mother in his, in his teens. I think he was 16 and she was 17. And that was a big deal for a teenager to marry someone just because they impregnated. So my father impregnated someone. So that was a big deal in terms of my father and him taking on responsibility at such a young age. My, actually, my sister was younger, year older than I am and myself. But my sister was first. So I remember one time I heard this story. We used to live in Richmond, Virginia. That was a really bad area because they had the slave. They had the areas where they would, uh, they would, uh, they would um, march the slaves down Broad Street. And I went down Broad Street one day, right? Actually, a couple times. I parked my car over there, right? And I went to the Lumpkin Slave Jail. And I used to sit there, man, and tears would roll out of my eyes, right? I was trying to figure out what was going on, right? There was no reason for me to be here. Nobody put me down with it the whole nine, right? But I went there anyway. And I used to, and I used to, and that was where I would just, you know, like, like I would, uh, I would pull my car over. I get off the beltway, pull my, I go where that area was at off of Broad Street. And I pull my car over, right? And sometimes I would get sometimes the most expensive liquor and pour it on the ground as a tribute. That and I used to like uh, sometimes like pour, you know, like uh, what do you, what do you call that? Like natural water, you know, like respecting the you know the, the ancestors, you know, people that came before us, man, because we couldn't really be where we at without them. Sometimes they call it ancestral worship. At the end of the day, I believe that I'm a sum of everything that has come before me, and so now it's my job. To do what I got to do, right? So the way that the Lord is putting on my chest, he, he like, he like, he like, he like this. He, he say, look, so I'm gonna hook you up. You'll come through like smoke. All you got to do is just do what I tell you, and do what you're an expert, and I will protect you. That to me sounds like a pretty good contract. So I'm already putting the ideas together and what I'm gonna do. So it's already done in my mind. But again, you know, like being out here in Arizona, right? I mean, really the ultimate level for us, the ultimate level for us, right? Because we already tied into the Native Americans just to come out here as a group and just buy this land, right? Check it out, right? Do it just like Bugsy Siegel did for the Pink Flamingo. They now call Las Vegas. It wasn't nothing out here. The mob wanted an area where they could gamble at in a state that it was approved for gambling. That's the same way we can do it in the middle of nowhere. You know, and I'm and like, I'm waiting on God just like everybody else, but the way he hit me, I'm like, and I don't even know. I don't, sometimes I don't even know what's going to happen from one day to the next because when you when you flowing in this energy, right, and it's like showing you stuff, and you know, this is like the other day, right, look, check this out, right, I don't even know how to play a guitar. I went out and bought me a guitar. I said, y'all, y'all my heart. And I'm going to teach myself how to play. It's part of my music therapy. And in the meantime, I mean, the way that my demonstration is going down, I mean, like, I may be taking a trip in 48 hours where I hit to Chicago, then fly from there straight to, like, Baltimore, do my thing, you know what I'm saying, and get back out, get back here, you know, but just do what I'm doing, you know, because anything is possible with God behind you, you know what I'm saying? Like, just like I was just thinking about my situation when I, uh, when I, uh, I lost my life in the Maryland Penitentiary of the South Wing. This dude named uh, Daniel Appleby, he had stabbed this, this guard named, um, dog, I just had his name in my, um, I haven't got the guard's name right, but he used to mess with people, right? And this one dude got him. It was crazy, right? I was totally out of my element. God was with me then. I didn't even know it, right? Like, I was supposed to go through that, right? Like, getting stabbed or shot, like, 30, 40 times. Like, I mean, if that, I mean, like, it's like, I know what that feel like. So I ain't got to even go through that, but I know what it feel like, right? So it, like, it put me on super point. It put me, like, yo, for real? And all I do is study all day long, right? I, 
Like when I was in the joint, right, I used to study the Wall Street Journal, Money Magazine, London Times, Entre, Entrepreneur, and uh, the Dun and Bradstreet joint they were saying, right? I didn't even know what I was studying back then. I would have known what I was studying back then. I would have been, I definitely would have been a millionaire right now. But this is what I found out, right? And this is what I like about memory. Like I'm learning stuff about memory, right? So the brain records 24-7. That means everything I study is still stored in my mind. All I got to do is recall it. I'm not even going to be surprised. You know, because my whole thing is like just um, dealing with the Lord. You know, just say, God, just, you know, God interact me. Just show me what I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? You know, constantly stay in prayer. You know what I mean? Constantly stay in a, in a pop, put out positive energy. Like put it out there like you're, like you're a rocking chair. You know what I'm saying? And just the way that things is going down, just for me to even make this video. So until tonight, because I think I'm going to be doing like two a day. Peace.